and strength in numbers is alive and well. <laughs> I can't wait. There was this one player on the Grizzlies who tweeted strength in numbers after they beat us in the regular season, and it pissed me off so much. I can't wait to retweet that thing, freaking bum. That, I had to watch that. I'm just like, this freaking clown. Okay. 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 Sorry. That memory just popped up. You're going to mock us? Like, you ain't ever been there before, bro. We've been there. We know what it takes. So to be here again, hold that. You got to love Clay Thompson. And that player was Jaron Jackson Jr. Now let's hear Stephen A's response. Well, that's Clay Thompson, number one. What I would say, let's understand it in its proper context. Jaron Jackson Jr. is no bum. That brother's 22 years of age. He's got a bright future, 16-point per game scorer, had 2.3 blocks in the NBA this year. I think, I think that led the league, 2.3 per game. Jaron Jackson is legit. He was just young and made a very foolish mistake. And I think that's what Klay Thompson was saying. Klay Thompson knows he's no bum. Klay Thompson knows he could play. Klay Thompson knows this brother's got a promising future. He was just saying, wait a minute, respect your elders. We've been here before. We know what the hell we're doing. You ain't get there yet. Show some damn respect. Yeah. That's all he meant by that. He ain't mean that Jaron Jackson's some bum that can't play. He Stephen said, that you, how dare you be disrespectful. That's all he meant, but it's Klay, and he's entitled to clap back. That's what champions have the luxury of being able to do. I would like to congratulate the Golden State Warriors. I would like to congratulate you, Stephen A., for calling this like it was at the beginning of the season. All I'm going to say is when the 2022-2023 season comes here, all I'm going to think about is this. Because that's Ja Morant on the sideline imitating Stephen Curry because I think that's going to be one of the best rivals in all of basketball. The Memphis Grizzlies are no longer the guys like Marc Gasol, Zach Randolph, Mike Conley, the quiet players that go about their business, they're now the young guys like John Morant, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Dylan Brooks. And those guys talk way more than anybody in the Grizzlies franchise history. They tweet after every game. They always got something to say. They're always running their mouth. They're a team full of Draymond Green, but that is going to be a rivalry. In fact, Dylan Brooks already said that the Grizzlies are a dynasty, and Steph Curry laughed at them like, you have no idea what a dynasty even is. And now you see Klay Thompson getting into it with Jaron Jackson Jr. Let's also not forget that John Morant hit the gritty on the Timberwolves logo after beating them. So yeah, they're the pettiest and loudest team in the NBA right now. I've never been a Warriors fan, but something about that Grizzlies team just makes me want to root for them. It's just so hard to root for the Grizzlies sometimes, even though they're an exciting team to watch. But let me know in the comments, am I being too hard on the Grizzlies? And what are your thoughts on Clay Thompson clapping back at Jaron Jackson Jr.? That is all I have for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.